Hi guys, uh, I did the unpacking of the new IP camera, panoramic HD outdoor camera. So first off, what I'm going to do is um, show you again the camera. And here, this little plate right here, if you open it up, which I've, I've unscrewed it, but and if you do open it up, it's a little tiny slot in there that you can put a micro SD card uh, right here and you'll see that the slot is right there and you would stick a micro SD card in it and that way you could record for now just leave that plate off so basically we've got our end we've got our power uh, your network cable and a reset button so I've set this up previously but hang tough for a sec I'm going to plug in the power to it. I'm going to plug in the network cable. And you see now there's a network cable in there. It's plugged in. And I am basically going to show you now how the software works. So, uh, I've got the software installed. The software is called iCloud. E-Y-E-C-L-O-U-D. You just go to Google Play Store, you can get it. It looks like that icon right there. There you see the iCloud. And I've got it hooked up. Um, I'm going to show you a few things first. Um, you would add a new camera by going here to the little plus button. And then you could scan it. And if you'll notice on the camera, it has a scan bar right there. So if you don't have a QR reader, get one. And then you take this. you scan it and it says this device has been added click to continue reconfigure Wi-Fi and so you would go yes continue and please use app for Wi-Fi configuration you see it telling you that the configuration tells you how to do it make sure the network cables plugged in there was a voice prompt so we're good there um, We'll see, we see my shot. We Place your smartphone near the camera, press send button, then wait for camera's response. And then you can just do this, and your camera would also do it. So that's one way you can do it, but I'm not going to do it that way. I just plugged it in. There's also, if you want to hook up, you can go to, to add a camera, and you could go others, and just do the... IP camera search in LAN. Please connect the network cable with camera and so your router. So we did. That's Connect the way I like RJ doing it. four five port yellow light is flashing. And then there is a voice prompt. So I'll search at devices and LAN. And if you plugged it into your router slash modem, it'll find it, and then it'll add it. Once it's added, it it's going to ask you for a password. Um. The, well, all because it's already found it once and I've set it up, it would do that. So you can see that I do have it set up. Um, one of the cool things, again, about this camera is I'm going to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put it in the window for you now. The cool thing about this camera is, you'll see it's set up, it's got like a fisheye view where you've got a lot more extended range, but if you hit the menu, if you just tap it, I'm trying to do this right, or if you tap it, it will go into motion sensing and you can actually turn it. So that little green button there is what's giving us this, it, it's actually panning the lens inside moves back and forth so you get to see a whole lot more than if it's fixed I'm trying to, the menu sometimes doesn't pop up on the phone very easily unless you go from there uh, there's that little button that you can go back and forth um, you the settings are up top here you see the little cog 
and in your settings you can set up your Wi-Fi then you put your password in you can go then down to here which is your setup for your night mode set time all of that kind of stuff then you go to your SD card you would put a new if you had an SD card in there you would format it first you could record sound with it then you got notifications you can do notification type client where it will give you a notification on this program so it would pop up like that it would just be a little a little a little pop up would come up right up about there so you can also motion detection alarm and set that up for um having motion detection alarms that would then come right to your phone but one of the things I do is I'll get an, a tablet I'll set the program up on the tablet and if you notice I've got this tablet has got um, already set up so basically we're hooked up to the net you get Wi-Fi, you get to set up all your parameters, really easy to do. If you have any questions, you can always leave a message or send a message through the website here. Anyways, uh, I'll try to do a better video later, maybe if I get another phone so I can set it up new and show you how. But you should be able to do it just like I've shown you and add new gear either with the network or doing the sound. Anyways, have a good day.